and welcome to our Revit Architecture 2011 uh, introduction and four story building promo video. In this uh, quick video, we are going to uh, show you a little bit about our latest CAD clips on Revit Architecture 2011 um, and a nice introduction to the software and also. Um, uh, show you a little bit about the project that we create, the four-story building that we create as part of this uh, training series. So this is a really great series because it's a hybrid of um, a lot of information about how Revit architecture works as well as uh, combining a really nice little commercial project with that and we build that project um, right from the the ground up. So just as some of the things that we do talk about um, in this particular training series, there's 48 videos, uh, all averaging about between six and eight minutes uh, long each. And just to mention a few things before we show you the actual model that we create, uh, some of the things that we cover very critical, um, the interface, the ribbon, and the quick access toolbar and all the panels and all that stuff. And we talk about the project browser, the properties palette, and our uh, visibility toolbar and all that good stuff. Um, we show you how to open and save projects and where some of your main options and set up um, is we talk about different file types that Revit uses its own selection methods we talk about all the different views that Revit uses we talk about and teach you about scale and scale factor and annotations and how they relate we go extensively into levels and how levels work and how they are tied to the different objects or rather the objects are tied to the levels as well as grids, which is our other important datum. We talk and teach you all about crop regions, really an underestimated topic when most people are trying to teach this. We talk about the cut plane and plan regions, title blocks and sheets and dragging views. And then we get into, of course, walls and floors and roofs and doors and windows and different types of roofs. We've got a little eyebrow roof. We've got a flat roof. We've got a big uh, gable roof. We talk about constraining and locking and aligning objects and copy and paste a line from floor to floor to floor so you can um, control all of these objects from one level if you choose to. We get into stairs and multi-story stairs and detailing and callouts and all kinds of good stuff. So this is um, actually the sheet view that we're looking at right here. So I'm just going to use my control button and click on this stuff here, get rid of this text and then we'll start to talk a little bit about the project that we create in this training. So here I have uh, split up my um, screen into tiled uh, views. So I've got rid of my project browser and my um, properties palette temporarily. And I've just tiled a floor plan, an elevation, and a 3D view. And this is the project that we create as part of this process. We do some lessons outside of the project itself. And then we do a lot of lessons that actually include the project. So just here as an example, I can go into this view. I can pick on this top level, which is the top of my parapet over here. And all I have to do is go in. If I want to move that up from 45 feet to say 47 feet, I just type in 47, it updates the elevations, it updates the model in 3D, and it updates the floor plan as well. So there's just a quick example of how Revit works and how parametrics work. Now let's look at, say, the front entrance. Okay, let's say that we want our front entrance to get wider and we want this part of the building to move. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here I'm, and I can do this in a couple ways, but I'm going to lock that one dimension between these two grid lines. Okay, now watch what happens. I can do this in an elevation or I can do it in a plan. I'm simply going to click over here, grab this grid line and then change this 22 foot 10 to, to be something like, you know, um, 25 feet and then hit enter and what will happen is my building will get wider in my elevation, my building gets wider here, all my windows all get spaced um, properly over here and then the building updates. So with one click I can change the spacing of all of these windows, the length of this, notice that the front entrance stays centered etc and this back wall moved with it. 
okay let's go in and have a look at the these this bank of windows up inside of here I can click on this which is currently telling them all to stay centered I can take that equal off okay but yet they are aligned and locked so watch what happens I can go over to an elevation view here now and I can go in and I can nudge that and I can move that notice it's moving in my 3d view it's moving in my elevation and it would be moving on all my floor plans okay so back over to here and nudge nudge okay if I want them back to be centered again all I have to do is go over to here pick on this window and uh, turn them back into being equal again and uh, where's my equal symbol? Let's just zoom in here a little bit. Oh, I just need to grab this dimension and make it equal. There we go. So now I've made them equal again in this one floor plan and that's propagated all the way up over to here. Okay, um, let's try going over to maybe this grid line. Maybe this part of the building's going to get a little bit wider. Okay, I can do this from a plan view. I can go over to here, grab this guy, this says it's 12 feet and I can just say change that to be 14 feet this will get bigger this will get bigger and all these windows will all stay centered click out there goes my building just like that so think of this as any time a customer calls you and wants to move something by an inch or two how much time that's going to save you so these are just uh, samples of some of the things that we teach you and the project that you will build um, over the course of these 48 videos.